Hey there, this is Brennan from Gongs Unlimited, and I'm here to talk about these beauties, crystal pyramids, as well as their not-so-pyramid-like counterpart, the crystal merkabas, which I can't describe in a shape, about how to play them, about how to open them, care for them, and not break them, because these babies are fragile. When you get these, crystal pyramids and merkabas, they're going to come in a box uh, and they're going to come heavily wrapped. And you want to be extremely gentle when taking out of the packaging because it's going to be super e easy to damage something so fragile just from taking out of the packaging. And so when I do so, or when you do so, You want to be cognizant to, um, counterintuitively to what you may think with a lot of fragile things. Um, I think it's a situation where using a knife or scissors is actually a much better deal because it's going to be tightly packaged with bubble wrap and tape. And the last thing you want to do is grab the tape and start pulling, grab the bubble tape but the bubble wrap rather and start ripping it apart um, and putting a lot of force onto it um, where you could easily damage the Merkaba or the pyramid. So what you want to do is go in there gently with a blade, scissors or knife and um, gently cut up and away from the crystal and to break the tape and then pull away the tape as gently as you can from the bubble wrap. Cutting where necessary in order to ease the tension of the bubble wrap and the tape on the outer layer, eventually getting to you to a point where you'll be able to unwrap the whole thing um, easily and gently, using as little force as possible. Because you got a little gentle being in there, can't handle too much. The first thing that you need to know is what mallet to play with them, which should be pretty easy because they're going to come with a mallet. Um, the majority of them are going to come with this suede mallet when you buy them from us here at Gongs Unlimited. Um, and I think the Merkabas, if they're smaller, will come with our OG Atlantis mallet. But the important thing for the pyramids and the Merkabas is to not go really crazy when it comes to trying out mallets on them and stuff because they're very fragile. And so we have tried out pretty much all the mallets in the world on them. Um, and come to the conclusion of what works best for sound without uh, destroying them. Because anything that's too hard can really, um, you know, tow you close to the line of breaking these. And um, it doesn't take much of a breakage in one of the pyramids or Merkabas to get it, to make it noticeably, um, make the sound deteriorate. Uh, any little crystal imperfection um, often occurring in the corners here. Um, any sort of little hairline fracture in this crystal will make them start to sizzle and pretty much immediately you'll hear if something's wrong. And so the mallet is very important for that and also how you play it is very important for that as well. The tip being gentleness. I'm hitting it with almost, hitting it's even a strong word from what I'm doing. I'm just kind of letting the mallet sort of fall onto it a little bit. Just a little, not even a flick, just the smallest motion that you can. Um, and when you're trying it out for the first time, getting a feel for it, start on 
the more gentle side, the most gentle side, actually. So you can get a feel for it. Um, and at no point are you doing one of these, like a actual hit onto it, like you would a gong or you would a uh, sound plate. Um, it's a very different procedure of how you hit it. Um, you can hit it on any place, on any place that you want, and you're just gonna get a different sound. So often in the center of, in the center of these tines, um, you're gonna get more of a, I don't know, rich isn't the word, but a fuller, maybe a little deeper tone. Versus if you hit it in the corners, where you're more likely to get a lot of those um, zoomy little overtones that are shooting across the room. And the slight microcosms in the you know, different lengths of these, the different, um, and I'm, I'm not talking about something that you could actually see, just the slight differences from production of all the different lengths of these times are gonna mean that they have a slightly different sound, which creates a sound in the um, pyramids and even more so in the Merkabas of um, uh, dissonance in a way that is kind of mind clearing, kind of hypnotizing. Um, you'll hear as I play it. That it doesn't have one definable sound. Um, and really what you're listening to is a bunch of slightly different sounds that are creating kind of a waving and a whoosh. And, um, those spritey little overtones that are just kind of jolting around which you can really make come out from hitting the different parts of the pyramid or the Merkaba um, in succession and then letting them ring out once you've hit them in four or five different places. And once again, not really hit, more of just a touch. And with this Merkaba, you're left with even more variance in distance, or rather length, of the little crystal rods that make it up. So there's even a greater variance of the sounds you can get out of it, makes more dissonance, greatens the effect. So if you like more of a pure, clean tone, then the Crystal Pyramid is gonna be a better bet. But if you want an even more enhanced, dissonant, um, kind of hypnotizing, mind-clearing effect, I think the Merkaba has a stronger effect when it comes to doing that. But you can hear them both. What do you think? And if you can't get a read on this kind of strange instrument by itself, know that it is even better and more functional in a sound healing context. Surrounded by a group of its peers. The dissonance that it brings and that hypnotizing effect that it can draw out is um, rather good when it comes to clearing your mind. 
and giving you a healing with sound, which is the main purpose of sound healing. It can really help you forget whatever was in your mind previously. Just wash it away. Distract you from whatever you got going on in your life. Even if it's me, right now. You may have forgot that I was even talking. That's how good this thing is. And lastly, don't forget to give it a swing as it plays. Adds to the hypnotizing effect. Makes it all melt together. Gives it a pulse. You can do that by either pushing it with the mallet after you've hit the pyramid or the Merkaba, or by giving it a little shove as you hit it. You don't have to go turbo mode like this. You can just give it a nice gentle push. But difference in speed will change how strong the effect is. So if you like them, we have them, in, or if I've drawn some intrigue, we have a video of each pyramid and each Merkaba at each size, um, so you can see how they differ on our website at gongsunlimited.com. So go check it out. Thank you for watching.